future is that I'm going to the University of Cincinnati. I was accepted into their neuroscience program, so I'll be majoring in neurobiology. Which is great. Uh, uh, like the pageant and um, the Mermaid Festival, and I just really wanted to be in it because I watched my cousin be in the pageant, and I just always wanted to be one of those girls. I decided to be in the Mermaid pageant this year because I did it last year, and it was a lot of fun, and I met a lot of new people. The Queen of Lakes pageant, and I always thought it'd be fun. And I've seen all the girls make a great friendship. Or to go to Purdue and do engineering, or go to Ball State and do architecture. The reason I chose to I become a contestant in the Queen of the Lakes pageant this year is because I look at all the girls and all the relationships that can be made, and all the friendships that can be made. It's a fun little festival, and I love doing pageants and meeting new girls. I'm Manchester University, and I'm majoring in elementary education with high ability. And so hopefully I can become an elementary school teacher and work right. some of the great areas in my state. The pageants were girls that I saw as role models, so I think as we get older it's our job to step up. My name is going to be the Camelot, and I want to go with like a Jacqueline Kennedy look because when John F. Kennedy was president, they considered that the type of Camelot in the pageant this year because ever since I was little I've always just loved watching the parades go by. It's always kind of like my third year of being in the pageant. I've been in the past two years and I, my very first year, I enjoyed it. I got to meet a lot of great girls and they're the reason why I came here. And I'm studying there. elementary education and minoring in worship music. Um, in my spare time, I'm really outdoorsy, so I oh went to run. Really and so I found me up against to try it for the first time last year. And it was just a really and great experience. Time, so. I love teaching kids and helping kids with things, so I am a teacher. I am a contestant this year in this pageant because it'll be my fourth year and I absolutely love the girls. I love doing it with the girls. I made so many friends and it's my favorite part. For the 2014 of Queen of Lakes, contestant number one. My name is Audie Parsons and I am Miss Lake Webster Stevie. Contestant number two. My name is Madison Beaver and I am Miss Syracuse Lake. Contestant number three. My name is Erica Olenek and I am Miss Riding Your Lake. Contestant number four. I am Ernest Schmucker and I am Miss Seacrest Lake. Contestant number five. My name is Brooke Salier and I am Miss Chapman Lake. Contestant number six. My name is Kirsten Bailey and I am Miss Little Tippy Lake. Contestant number seven. My name is Corey Lindemar and I am Miss Wyla's Lake. Contestant number eight. My name is Marissa Ross and I am Miss Diamond Lake. Contestant number nine. My name is Sosa Riley and I am Miss Webster Lake. Contestant number ten. My name is Alexis Lindemeyer and I am Miss Camelot Lake. Contestant number 11. My name is Jasmine Entz and I am Miss Wabi Lake. Contestant number 12. My name is Alyssa Ford and I am Miss Barbie Lake. Contestant number 13. My name is Ashley O'Connor and I am Miss Cedar Lake. Contestant number 14. My name is McKenna Diossi and I am Miss Stewart Lake. Contestant number 15. My name is Morgan Coppy and I am Miss Kim Lake. Contestant number 16. My name is Caitlin Everly and I am Miss Lake Papakichi. Contestant number 17. My name is Jenna Coy and I am Miss Paul Sealing. Wonderful panel of judges. The results in no particular order. Ladies, two steps forward, please, for contestant number 16, Ms. Papakichi Lake, Caitlin Everly. Congratulations. Contestant number 14, Ms. Stewart Lake, McKenna Diarsti. Contestant 17. Miss Rama Seeley, Jenna Cole. Contestant 10, Miss Camelot Lake, Alexis Lenemeyer.
What qualities do you think you possess that would make you a good role model for girls? The qualities that I think that I possess to become a good role model for young girls or girls of any age really would be that I'm not afraid to be myself and I think that that's one of the most important things to teach people and I think that I can be a strong leader because I like to bring out the best of people as best I can so I I really think that those two qualities could make me a good leader. I think uh, some of the qualities I possess is that I'm extremely outgoing and so it's telling other girls it's okay to be yourself, it's okay to talk to people, it's okay to talk to strangers, make friends. And um, another quality I think I possess is um, a relatability. Um, I have this ability to listen to people and find ways to connect with them and I think in order to be a good Queen of Lakes you have to be able to relate to all kinds of people um, from all different backgrounds and I think that's um, another great quality that someone that is going to be the Queen should possess. The best qualities I think I have for little girls, especially since I have so many family friends that are little girls, is I'm, one, I'm someone who it's involved in the community a lot, and I take a lot of leadership roles, and I think that's definitely something that little girls need to see as they grow up as, girl, as young ladies like myself, that that's something that you should do when you, as they grow older also. Thanks. I think the qualities that are most important for each girl to show another girl is empathy, and being able to relate to each other and each other's circumstances, and understanding how you may not know what someone's going through, but you can put yourself in their place and connect with them. And I think, if, I think I possess that quality, so I think it's something that I can use to teach and help and influence others. To announce the Queen and her court for the 69th Mermaid Queen of Lakes Festival. This year's third runner-up, Jess Wallace. The 2014 Queen of Lakes Festival. Ladies and gentlemen, our second runner up, contestant number 16, Ms. Papakichi Lake, Caitlin Everly. Congratulations, Caitlin. Ladies and gentlemen, we have two young ladies left. I will announce the first runner up first. And if for whatever reason our 69th Mermaid Festival Queen cannot take care of her duty, she will step in. Our first runner up, Miss Camelot Lake, Alexis Linnemeyer. Congratulations, Alexis.